Determine the common difference and find the next four terms of each arithmetic sequence. So let's find the common difference, D. It's 0.6 minus negative 1.1. And that's 0.6 plus 1.1, which is equal to 1.7. And now we just have to add 1.7 to each of these. And that's going to be 4.0, uh, 5.7. And we're going to add 1.7 to this. That's going to be 7.4. And another 1.7 is going to be 9.1. Here we have 13 minus 16 for the common difference, and that difference is negative 3. So now we just have to keep adding negative 3. We have 7, 4, 1, and then negative 2. Find both an explicit formula and a recursive formula for the nth term of each arithmetic sequence. We have 9, 13, 17. So we're taking 13 minus 9. So the common difference is 4. So here's the explicit for an arithmetic. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. And so a sub n is equal to, in this case, 9 plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is 4. And we can write this more as a linear equation by multiplying through by 4. So we have 4n minus 4. And then we have, uh, we'll have 4n plus 5. The recursive formula is a sub n equals a sub n minus 1, and then we add 4. But we have to say where this sequence starts, so a sub 1 is equal to 9. On this one, the common difference is going to be 70 minus 75. That is equal to negative 5. And a sub n now, the explicit formula, is equal to 75 plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is negative 5. So we have 75 minus 5n plus 5, and that's equal to 80 minus 5n. Let's get the recursive. a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 uh, minus 5, and a sub 1 is equal to 75. Find the specified value for the arithmetic sequence with the given characteristics. If a sub 1 is equal to negative 27 and d equals 3, we're going to try to find a sub 24. Well, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And we're trying to find a sub 24. So a sub 24 is equal to negative 27 plus 24 minus 1 times the common difference, which is 3. Well, that's negative 27 plus 23 times 3. Let's get negative 27 plus 23 times 3, which is 42. So the 24th term is 42. If a sub n equals 27, a sub 1 equals negative 12, and d equals 3, we're going to find n. Well, a sub n is 27. That's equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is 3. Let's add 12, we get 39 equals n minus 1 times 3. Divide by 3, 13 equals n minus 1, so n is equal to 14. Number 7, if a sub 23 is 32 and a sub 1 is negative 12, we're supposed to find d. So the 23rd term is 32, that's equal to a sub 1, which is negative 12, plus n minus 1, but we know what n is. That's going to be 23. So 23 minus 1, and then times d. So let's add 12. We get 44 is equal to uh, 22d. So d must be equal to 2. If a sub 6 is 5 and d equals negative 3, we're supposed to find a sub 1. So a sub 6 is 5. That's equal to a sub 1 plus the nth term, or the, the n that is, is 6. So 6 minus 1, and the common difference is negative 3. So we have 5 is equal to a sub 1. Let's see, 5 times negative 3, that's minus 15. So if we add 15, a sub 1 is equal to 20. Find the indicated arithmetic means for each set of non-consecutive terms. So we have three means in between 35 and 45. So let's start with 35. There's one mean, two means, three means, and then we get to 45. Well, let's take 45 minus 35. That is 
10. And so we've added 10 from 35 to 45, but we added something to get 10, one, two, three, four times. So we divide 10 divided, you know, take 10 divided by four, that's five halves. So we've added 2.5 each time. So this is going to be 37.5. This next one is going to be 40, and this is going to be 42.5. How about two means in between negative 7 and 2.75? So we start with negative 7. We have 1, 2 means, and then we get to 2.75. Well, let's take 2.75 and we subtract negative 7. That is 9.75, and we added something one, two, three times to get 9.75. So let's divide by 3. That's going to be 3.25. So if we take negative 7, negative 7 plus 3.25, that's equal to uh, negative 3.75. And we're going to add another 3.25, and that is negative 0.5. Find the indicated sum of each arithmetic series. Uh, S sub 13, so the 13th partial sum of negative 5 plus 1 plus 7, and it looks like the last one is 67. So S sub 13 is equal to n over 2, in this case 13 over 2, times a sub 1, which is negative 5, and then plus 60. Seven. So let's take 13 divided by 2, and we're going to multiply that times negative 5 plus 67. And we get an answer of 403. 403. Number 12, how about the 62nd partial sum of negative 23 plus negative 21.5 plus negative 20, and so on. So S sub 62 is equal to 62 over 2 times negative 23 plus, well, right here we need the 62nd term. Well, uh, the a sub 62 is equal to negative 23 plus 62 minus 1 times, I need the common difference, and that's negative 21.5 minus negative 23 which is negative 21.5 plus 23, uh, which is, uh, what is that going to be, one and a half? So negative 21.5 plus 23 is exactly 1.5. So we have 1.5 here for the common difference. Well, we need uh, negative 23 plus 61 uh, times 1.5. So we have 68.5 here as the 62nd term. Well, let's take 62 divided by 2. We're going to multiply that times negative 23 plus 68.5. And that's equal to 1,410.5. 1,410.5. Number 13, find the sum of, this, uh, of n equals 5 to 21 of negative 6 plus 4. Well, if we take 21 minus 5, that's equal to 16, and if we add 1, that's 17. So we need the 17th partial sum of this series. Well, we need uh, 17 over 2, and then times a sub 1 is going to be what we get when we plug 5 in. That's negative 30 plus 4. So the first one is negative 26, and we got to add that to, let's take negative 6 times 21, and we're going to add 4. So the 20, uh, you know, what we get when we plug 21 in, or the 17th term, is equal to negative 122. Well, we need 17 divided by 2 times negative 26 minus 122. And we get a total of negative 1,258.